Genetics. Genetics is a million times more important than people will ever understand when it comes to bodybuilding. In saying that, when it comes to anything in life, genetics is one of the most important aspects. A quick example is if you're five foot two and you want to be a professional basketball player, guess what? You're not going to be a professional basketball player. Sorry, you, you know, you got dealt a fucked hand and you're not going to be a basketball player. And it's the same with bodybuilding. Some guys are given incredible genetics as far as their structure, their capability of putting on muscle, their joints, uh, their muscle bellies, how full they are, where they attach, how long they are, how short they are, um, how small their waist is. This is all genetics given by God. These are things you can't necessarily change. If you have shitty genetics, there's not much you can do. You can become the best that you can become. But to become the number one bodybuilder in the world, it's probably not going to happen. Bodybuilding is not about being the biggest. It's about genetics, aesthetics. It's about symmetry. There's a lot to it. Anyone out there who sees someone better is always going to say, oh yeah, that's because of this, that's because, no, motherfucker, it's because they work their ass off and because they have great genetics. And just because you ain't shit doesn't mean you have to take away from how great they are. If it were possible, this would be too fucking big. But once again, it's not possible. So even this cartoon character you see before you, Stan Lee can't draw no shit like that. Look at it. But it ain't fucking possible. If you think, you think, you think I'm just talking shit here, let me ask that. Ty Green is such a thing as too big. No, sir. He thought I just made that shit up. That's Kai Green right there, he said the same motherfucking thing.